I'm gonna go ahead and use this park tool to hold the wheel for me. This is the park tool WH-1, uh, fairly new. I use it here and there. Um, haven't decided if I'm a big fan or not. Put it in the vise, you can also place it on the table and bolt it down. And you got one, two, three different uh, locations. And we got, um, depending on what you have, if you have a through axle, we're using something like this. Um, it'll accommodate uh, probably a 12 millimeter or 15 mil. And we have uh, adapter sleeves if we need to go larger size. But if we're gonna use just a regular uh, quick release, I believe they call it like a nine, nine millimeter size, then you're gonna use the skewer on that bike. So we'll use this. This will fit perfectly for that. This is the rear wheel, so it's a 12 mil. And then, they want you to use a little washer that is now lost. So that might be a flaw right there. But this guy will sit in here. Oh, there it is. But this little C-clip washer that can get, it's pretty thick. That can get lost pretty quick. All this stuff can pop off. There's a holder back here. It's, it's just okay. This guy will fit in here. The C-clip either goes in the front or it goes on the inside. I haven't decided which is best. Put that on the inside. So I'm turning this guy as well. Doesn't have to be crazy type, but obviously we don't want this coming loose as we're working on it. And it can come in over here. Slide this on. And so. So now I can go ahead and work on the whole wheel. So I have axis here. I can tilt the wheel from this position to go in this position or completely flat. So we do have fluid down here. It's nice to keep this down. Just make sure your wheel doesn't start to make its way off this way. 